Let's just go in uh, the train. This is what we came here to do. Those are the words of South African pediatrician Dr. Omar Juma as he works tirelessly to rehydrate a little boy. The procedure happens in a dirty, dilapidated tent in one of the hundreds of refugee camps for Somali famine victims in Mogadishu. What size is it? The child's tiny body is so malnourished that he's too weak to cry. He merely gasps. We saw this child that was marasmic, that means severely malnourished, dehydrated, and going into imminent shock. The little boy has a name and a story. Five-year-old Ibrahim Talshi's mother is mentally ill and cannot care for him. His father was shot dead in his tent some months ago, presumably by a stray bullet. Under the conditions, and with virtually no foreign medical care in the entire city, his aunt tried to feed him, but failed. In Mogadishu's overcrowded camps, there are too many stories like Ibrahim's to count. South Africa's Gift of the Givers medical team is one of the only foreign life-saving teams on the ground. Other NGOs won't risk going into the war-torn country. Timing for these doctors is also a major issue. Children like Ibrahim are already so far gone. Dr. Juma estimates he only has a 20 to 30 percent chance of surviving. The little bit of help for victims of Somalia's worst drought in 60 years is simply arriving too late. Robin Creel, E News, Mogadishu, Somalia.